I just hope that their conditionalities uh, do not come to you know hurt Ghanaians, especially the ordinary Ghanaians, so to speak. And and therefore, I I think I just want to suggest that they don't touch those social intervention programs that are designed to help the poor and the vulnerable, like the free SHS, like the LEAP, like the um, teacher training allowance, like uh, you know national health insurance scheme, and then even NAPCO, because in times of economic difficulties like this. It is such programs that are needed to cushion the poor and the vulnerable. So I just hope that they don't touch it. Maybe what they can do is to ensure discipline, ensure efficient use of funds. So for example, if the targeting is wrong, they may not cancel the program, but they may redirect the targeting. So if the, leap, the direct cash transfer wasn't going to the very poor as we identified, it was going to party members and all that, then the IMF, of course, staff will instill discipline for them to redirect the attention to their beneficiaries. So maybe that is where the emphasis will be, the prudent management, the targeting, uh, efficient use of funds, uh, you know, but because right now, I'm not sure of where the government is going to cut expenditure. Most of the expenditures are rigid in nature, so the government cannot cut it. So the only way out now is to have efficient management of the revenue, get value for money. Like I gave you an example, if it's late and it's going to house number A, who is a poor person, it must go there, it mustn't go to any other person. And secondly, uh, if the road construction costs say 10 million, it must be 10 million, it shouldn't be 15 million, 20 million. So all these things, I'm sure the, the fund will instill discipline, plug all the loopholes in the revenue generation and make sure that we get value for money. And I am particularly happy about this program that it will ensure fiscal discipline. That's what we need as a country.